Good day and welcome to the post cabinet briefing for July 9, 2018. I am Les Roy Williams. The formal meeting of the cabinet took place on Monday, July 9, 2018. The meeting was chaired by Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris. Here are the salient matters that were discussed and the decisions taken that are designed to advance the growth and development of the country. Cabinet discussed matters pertaining to the strengthening and transparency of the Citizenship by Investment program and additionally discussed the results of the recently concluded IMF consultations. The IMF team was quite satisfied with the processes that are employed within the Citizenship by Investment Unit. Cabinet discussed the passage of Tropical Storm Beryl and accepted the view that it gave an opportunity to test the state of the country's disaster preparedness. Cabinet was updated as to the number of people employed on the construction of the second cruise pair and the number of local subcontractors who are gainfully employed on the project. Cabinet was brought up to date in the success of the recently concluded 22nd St. Kitts Music Festival and was informed that the accounts will be submitted within the stipulated time frame. Cabinet was advised that the National Growth Forum, organized between the government and the Chamber of Industry and Commerce, was more interactive this year with frank and open discussions and more conducive to productivity through the new format that was employed. Because of this, some of the issues articulated could be more easily addressed because of input from several parties who shared diverse views. Cabinet was updated on the progress with respect to the construction of the new Bastia High School. Cabinet was apprised of all the summer camps that were to be held this year to engage youths throughout the long summer vacation and that the government was supporting in areas where there was a need. Cabinet addressed security matters in the interest of making the Federation a safer and securer place to live work and play. Cabinet considered a submission to assist in the restoration of the Spooner's cotton ginnery and will engage the Ministry of Finance in terms of the funding. Cabinet was pleased that the Honorable Attorney General had scheduled a sensitization session with public servants so that they would be aware of how the Integrity in Public Life Act will impact their lives generally. This has been your post-cabinet briefing for Monday, July 9th, 2018. I am Les Roy Williams, Director General of the St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service. Thank you for viewing and have a good day. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS. St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.